All right, welcome to the Story Bakery Cooking Channel. Um, so we started off with some really delicious caldo de res, and we're also going to have some carnitas coming up. Now, I will show you the whole process on making carnitas. I make it by smoking uh, a pork shoulder, barbecue style, and then we just season it, um, no barbecue sauce, anything like that, but it's delicious ballpark pulled pork. And then we uh, add some garlic and things like that to it. it. Turns out to be a delicious carnitas. Now, what goes great with carnitas is salsa, right? Well, so for this salsa, my wife absolutely loves pico de gallo. So today we're gonna be making a pico de gallo using fresh tomatoes, uh, lime, serrano peppers, cilantro, and onion. That's it. Um, it'll also be salt and pepper, you know, of course, always season it. But, you know, we, I think that simple cooking is the best cooking because it tastes so good when you know exactly what's in your food. So stay tuned, watch the video, you'll learn exactly how we make it and how it's going to be delicious on your table too. If you like the videos that we're doing, hit the like button and hit subscribe for more content. Hulk smash! All right, <laughs> sorry. So I always uh, smash my garlic, it makes it really easy to feel, it makes you feel like a really strong guy too, because you just give it a good pound on the counter. Uh, dice it up into really fine little pieces, uh, just so you don't get big chunks of garlic in your pico de gallo. Um, then you go ahead and grab about a quarter of an onion here, and then we're gonna take that quarter of onion and we're just going to, of course, slice a little bit through it, uh, dice a little bit off there. You really wanna make sure it's pretty fine here as well for our pico so you're not eating big chunks of onion. Um, then we're gonna grab our serrano pepper. Uh, serranos give this nice kick. Uh, if you don't like it too spicy, then what you wanna do is remove the seeds as well as the vein inside the chili, which is kind of like the white part that the, the seeds are attached to. Um, what I did here is I sliced it in half, um, cut off the root and the tip, and then I also uh, sliced them lengthwise into thirds after I sliced those halves, then I just diced them up. All right, make sure that it's super yummy for you. And then from there, grab the tomato. All right, and you want to cut off the vine side, cut it into quarter inch slices, turn it over, and then start dicing it. All right, dice those, uh, so cut, make another couple cuts, and then turn those, cut them again. Uh, the big thing with the tomatoes though, make sure you got a sharp knife. All right, because if you don't have a sharp knife, you'll just kind of smash your tomatoes, and, and they won't really hold up in a pico de gallo. And with a sharp knife, of course, Make sure you're watching those fingers. As you can see, I try to keep my sausages uh, out of the way. We don't want any meat in our pico de gallo, you know what I mean? Uh, scrape that in there, um, grab a lime, cut it in half, and then uh, you know quarter those halves, so uh, get a couple of wedges here out of it. Um, once you have the lime wedges, you know, you're gonna wanna squeeze them on there, but they're also great for garnishing your tacos with your um, your caldo, uh, you know, anything, you know, you can have them for drinks. Love limes, okay? Also on here, cilantro. I didn't put it in this batch. My father-in-law doesn't really like cilantro. Uh, fun fact, about 50% of people don't. Uh, I found out that it tastes like soap to them. I'm not one of those people. Um, so put the lime juice in there. Uh, then salt, mix it up. All right, and now we're ready to roll. All right, pico de gallo, super easy to make, delicious on tacos. I can't wait to try this. It's gonna be phenomenal. Awesome, so uh, to finish it off, right? Of course, you have to have your tacos, carnitas, which are absolutely phenomenal, okay? And then you get a little scoop of this pico de gallo that we made. A little scoop of some onions and cilantro, fresh onions and cilantro, a little squeeze of some lime juice, and then to top it all off, just a dollop of this Mexican crema. 
which is like a super delicious sour cream. And that is how you make amazing carnitas. And that's how you use your uh, cilantro, or uh, what the heck is this stuff that I made? Pico de gallo, that's how you made it. All right, and then you enjoy. Stay hungry, y'all.